Today we're going to be working on a 2018 Freightliner. We did some tracking on it and stuff and we got it all set up. Here's how it sets up and this is what we're going to do and I'll show you guys how we tram these axles and stuff uh, manually. So if your steering wheel is off considerably like this, right? Chances are your rear tracking is out, okay? And if you change the rear tracking, most of the time it'll straighten the wheel out. Now, if your steering wheel is off like this, right? You should have it checked anyway because something is not right. If your steering wheel isn't straight, then something's out of alignment. Another way to tell is when you look at your tires, you'll see a cupping inward on one, uh, one driver and a cupping outward on the other driver. Now, when you start looking at tire wear like this, this tire looks really weird, doesn't it? Uh, the center is barely wore down, but the outside treads are wore down. Can anybody guess what that's caused from? Hmm, possibly tire pressure. Comedy skip, we're gonna do some educational stuff here. So, old school stuff right here. All right, we got an old uh, uh, Model 155 SL B-Line uh, alignment laser. Things you're gonna need, a level, impact, inch and eight socket, and an inch and eight wrench. All right, we're going to put this uh, one on the right here. We're going to make sure that it is uh, tight to the back of the tire and the front of the tire and the side of the tire, okay? We're going to put the one on the uh, left side over here. Now, one thing you want to make sure is that the vehicle is aired up and on level ground. And you chalk the front driver and release the parking brake. Now, what this will do is it'll allow you to move the drivers around in order to add and take out shims. I'm going to place the laser on the back here, make sure it's level, and we'll have an adjustment on the side, we'll be able to level the laser. So then we'll be able to level the uh, hanger gauge right here that has a slot in it, so that way the laser will pass. So we're going to install this on the, uh, right behind the rear driver, in between the airbags and the rear driver. Hang this one off the bottom of the frame rail right here, and then we're going to adjust it, level it, and then... Once this one's hanging, we'll go to the front and hang the front one, put it up, level it. So this one goes on the tire, it's adjustable. Back bar right here. There's the uh, other one on this side. Now, this needs to be level, right this way. That gauge needs to be leveled on the frame, hangs on the frame right there. It's got a slight cracking right there, you know? All right, here we go. So while I'm hanging this one up, you guys go check out some of my other content. I got some other videos uh, on frame straightening, front axles, and steering, and alignment. Subscribe. Check it out. On the front of the truck here, as you can see, hangs on the very front, just in front of the axle, on the front part of the frame. Generally about as far forward as you can get. It has the center line on it. Okay. An axle on the, that means the right side of the axle needed to go forward. So, came over here and put an eighth inch shim in. Now that we've got the rear axle lined up, let me show you what it looks like here. As you can see, there our laser is dead center. Maybe I can get you a little better. Look right there. there we go, laser's dead center, right? All right, so now we know that the rear axle is aligned. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to tram the rear axle to the front axle. This is called a tram bar. Tram rod, tram something, whatever you want to call it. So we're going to put it in the hole right there in the center of the hub on the front driver. And then it's adjustable so we can put it on the rear driver just like that. We'll go on the side with no shims because this one doesn't have to be adjusted on this side. Now we'll come to the front, put it on there. Let's see where we're at in the back now. As you can see there, it does not line up. Now we need to go half that distance. That's uh, about a quarter of an inch, so we need to go an eighth of an inch forward with the front driver. We'll come over here, we're gonna get our little low, uh, snap on impact here with an inch and an eighth because it's a freight liner, so we you know it's an inch and an eighth.
much to move this forward. Now, if it's a Peterbilt, it's going to take a lot because it's more than likely now. The bolts are stuck in the housings and stuff. Push it forward like that. Alright, so we got some ice inch. Tram tool again here. Back around the other side, right? We'll go back around the other side and reset because guess what? This side moved a little. See? I moved just slightly. It's no longer in. Just like that. Just like that. Tighten it out. Should be nice and centered. Come back around this side, it should be the same. So put it in the hole back there. Da -da -da. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at there, huh? Bam. Perfect. Anyway, that's how we said tram on the axles, man, without a laser. Well, computer, anyway. We don't need them fancy computers, do we? It's old school ways, man. Just, uh, It'll work great today so now that we uh, have got it tracked and trimmed now we know that both rear axles or both rear drivers are dead center with the very front of the truck okay and we've already set the front end on this truck so we'll get to go drive it so keep an eye on your drivers and keep them in line and your tires will last for a long time i know i should have done the redneck one but i don't know didn't feel like it today hell i'm redneck enough as it is <laughs>